What up guys, TJ here. I'm out on Whistler Mountain today with Kevin and it is freaking dumping. And I'm gonna be testing out the 2018 Burton Deep Thinker snowboard for you guys. Let's get it. I'm actually really, really excited to get on the Deep Thinker, you guys. So this is a brand new board for Burton for 2018. It's the directional version of the Free Thinker. Uh, so both of these are Danny Davis Pro models. The Deep Thinker is performing really, really well in the powder out here today. This is gonna be a directional shape. It has a shifted camber. Uh, so what that means is that it's regular camber from the front insert pack down to the end of the tail. And then it has rocker in the nose. It also has a setback stance. So you're sitting a little bit further back on the snowboard and a slight taper, a seven millimeter taper. Um, and so that just means that the tail is a little bit skinnier than the nose. So that's gonna drop that tail down to the powder even further. This board is floating so well. Just no limits, just sending it off whatever I see. Got lots of powder everywhere. So fun today, guys. You got it. One thing I'm already noticing on this board is that it's really poppy. Even on these unpacked takeoffs, I'm able to really get a lot of extra boost it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So another benefit going along with that shifted camber that I mentioned earlier is that the board actually performs a little bit differently when you're on hard pack versus on powder. On hard pack, that camber is gonna actually activate the rocker in the nose even more, uh, lifting the nose up, and it's gonna kind of pull the contact points back a little bit, uh, making the board feel and ride like a shorter snowboard. So the contact point is the widest point in the snowboard where uh, you're getting most of the contact and most of the control in the snow. On powder, uh, when the board is pushing down on the snow, it's gonna ride and feel like a much longer snowboard and give you that float that you're looking for. That's something that's gonna be true for pretty much all shifted camber snowboards. And it's really noticeable today on the Deep Thinker, going from those cat tracks and then dipping into the trees where we have that deeper powder. Another cool fact on this board is the graphics were done by the legendary skater, Mark Gonzalez. As far as the flex goes, this board has a directional flex. Stiffer in the tail, I'd say around a six out of 10 and more medium in the nose, about a five out of 10. The Deep Thinker has my favorite combination of tech for carving. So that setback stance combined with the tapered side cut really allows you to set a really strong edge and it also makes the board really maneuverable. So it's a lot of fun for carving, really good for swiveling through the trees as well. Normally, as you guys know, I'm always on my unions. This is the one situation where I would recommend some Burton EST bindings just because you're gonna get similar performance and with the channel system, you actually get unlimited micro adjustability in every direction. So the Mala Vitas are working out really well today and the heel strap on it is actually really comfortable.
thanks for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed the video and that it helps you out if you got any questions for us hit us up on instagram kevin's at snowboard pro camp i'm at board archive thanks again guys i appreciate every single one of you and we'll see you next time